Okay, so let's go get five 99s in a row. Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. Wish your mind wrapped in. Wrapped around. Wrap, wrapped around. Hey, what is up guys and welcome to episode 6 of the Icov Road to Max Iron Man series. So to start off the episode, here we are with 1 billion strength XP, been killing KBD for so long and still no drops. Alright guys, we just got a KBD head pair, the second pair, they're alright I guess, they're just like a trophy, nothing special, and 150 kills, still hunting down that visage. Yes, look at that, we just got an effigy, I love effigies, they're so fun to do and they give so much XP. On our 200th or something kill, with 420 boss points, we finally got a drop that I like, an effigy, cooking and fire making, I'm gonna put this on fire making because it's not 99 yet, what is the next stage going to be? Okay, 93 in room crafting or thieving, of course we're gonna put that on thieving, which is really nice, some nice thieving XP, and let's see what the next one's gonna be. Alright, 95 smith thing we can definitely do that that is really nice and i hope to god this is not crafting i hope this is definitely not 97 crafting oh <laughs> of course it's crafting we <laughs> For Iron Man, that is so bad, and we're only 93 crafting, but since we've killed like so many KVDs, we have heaps of Black Dragon Hide, we should be able to do this. Alright, so after killing countless amount of KVDs, we do have these two crystal keys. Let's see what we can get. Zamorak Plate Legs. Now, if you don't remember, some of the footage last episode did go corrupt, which kind of sucks, and I also got an Infinity Hat, but sadly I couldn't record it. And there we go, we got a Gilded Plate Body. Okay, so now that we've opened those crystal keys, we have a bunch of black dragon hides we're gonna tan them and make them into van braces and there we go from 93 to 97 crafting in like three seconds that took so long look at that 193 black dehyde van braces and look how many gems i had to cut 859 some of them were from getting from like 83 to 92 by the way i got all these rubies by killing jad getting the tockle and buying the rubies okay so we're here at the general store and we're gonna sell all of our loot and oh my god that came out to a lot i did not expect that but we got 12 mil from all of that crafting it's definitely not worth it it took a couple of hours but still 32 mil now in the pouch which is really really nice okay it is time to complete this effigy really quick actually except for the crafting 100k crafting xp which is amazing we are running double xp so hopefully this is a lot of farming xp oh my god 1.5 mil farming xp that is a lot of time cut down towards the max cape Okay, so we're going to do a fair bit of summoning right now, starting off at 86 with these blue and crimson charms. Okay, and as you can see in the chat, we got all the way to 89 with those swamp lizards. And there we go, 93 summoning with all of our charms used, which is really, really nice. Okay, so now I do want to get 99 Slayer this episode, so we're going to start doing some boss Slayer, and we got 5 Slash Bashes, which are really easy and AFKable. Okay, so we finished up that Slash Bash task with nothing really, 217k and a couple of Alkables. Add that to the pouch, and we still only have 32 mil, which is actually a lot. And here we go with our new task, and it is 6 Cowfight Queens. Oh yes guys, that is so good. Dragon Chain Body on like our 6th Cowfight Queen kill of all time. That is amazing, look at that. I think we killed like 2 here on our Slay task and we got a Dragon Chain. Now this is not very useful at all since I do have a tour, so but honestly, it looks nice. It could probably sell to the general store for like 2 mil or something. And look at this guys, 9 kill count and we got a Dragon Chain which is really nice. Okay, so we finished up that Slayer task and we got a D chain, which is just, it's just so good. It's a nice drop to get from Cowfire Queen. Still 32 mil in the pouch and we got 7 Dagonoth Rexes. Okay, there is the completion of our Rex task. Nothing special, still no Dragon Axe, which I don't actually need. I do have an Inferno adds. And we are really close to the 99 prayer and I hope to get that soon. And then we go for Dagonoth Supremes. Oh my god, guys, finally, that actually... It's really nice, Dragon Hatchet, I cannot complain, but I do have an Inferno adds, but still my luck tonight is amazing. A Dragon Hatchet looks really nice in the bank, and we are really close to 99 prayers still, hopefully we can get it with these bones. But I will get it at the end of the episode, as long with three other 99s I think. Okay, time to get a new task from Simona. Two slash bashes. That's nice and AFK. Alright, there we go guys. That is the completion of our slash bash task. Nothing special, no D pick, but I don't really need it anyway. And I'm getting really close to 99 Slayer. I really do badly want to get it. And let's go get a new task from Simona. And we end up getting seven Chaos Ellies. I mean, 
it's it's not that bad of a boss, but you get scold when you attack it. I don't want to risk anything, but I'll think about it. Okay, so our bank is full, which sucks so much. So we're going to have to sell some stuff to the general store. So I didn't want to sell these teak planks at all, just in case construction came out. But I guess I have to, because I probably will sell for a lot. Now let's sell it all, and let's see how much we can get. Alright, that's really nice, guys. We ended up getting 4.8 mil. Okay, so as you guys all expected, I'm definitely not doing this chaos elemental task. It just, it's not good. I don't want to skull and lose all my weapons. Let's get a new to... How did I just get back? Oh my god, anyway. Let's reset this Chaos Ellie task. Four TDs, that's a lot better. And there we go, finish up the TDs task with some decent loot. Still going for those Dragon Claws, it's probably never gonna happen. And we get two Slash Bashers. Here we go, 90 farming, that is amazing. Still going for 99 for the Max K, but 90's good for now. Okay, we finished up the task of Slash Bashers for a really easy task. And then we go 5 KQs. Nice and easy. Okay, we finished up the KQ task. Let's get a new one. Uh, okay, I'm still hunting KQ. Let's go finish that off. Okay, we finished up the KQ task for real this time. And we got some pretty nice loot. And let's get a new task from Simona. Six Corporal Beasts. That's such a bad task because I so badly want to do it. But you can't solo Corporal Beasts anymore. So let's get a new task from Simona and seven DKs. Okay, we finished up the DK task with the casket. Okay, we got body runes, not so good, but and we got Corporal Beasts again. It's so bad. I just want to do it, but I can't solo them anymore. Nine KBDs, that's a lot better. Okay, we finished up the KBD task. We yet still dry over Vissy, and there we go, two Bandos avatars and creeping real close to 98 Slayer. Okay, we have a couple of crystal keys here. Let's open them. We have two to open, let's hope we can get something. I don't know what's rare from Crystal Keys, it might be Third Age or something like that. Let's see what we can get, okay, an Overload, probably not the best thing I could have got, but let's get another one, Uncut Dragonstone and a Loop Half. Okay, that's good, because I do have a bunch of Tooth Halves. Let's convert them, okay, here we go. Let's use it on it, let's open the chest again, and we get the God Sword Shard one. It's so good, but it's so bad, because I already have one, but placeholder for my placeholder god sword whichever one i get and there we go there's the completion of our bandos avatar task it's an all right task because you do have a chance of getting a karusty but so let's teleport back to neve and get a new task okay there we go seven kqs i, I don't really enjoy kqs but they're all right i guess okay finished up the kq task nothing special and eight kbds i love that task Okay, finish up the KBD task. Let's get another one. Nine Bandos avatars. Let's go do it. All right, guys. So this is the part where we do get. Oh, let me just eat up. This is the part where we do get five, five ninety nines in a row, which would be really cool. I don't know why I'm doing it in a row. I'm definitely not getting Max Cape, but I decided let's just get it in a row since I'll be getting him all this episode anyway. So what I'll be getting is summoning, which is so nice. So I can use Steel Titans. I'm also getting Slayer. I'm also getting Prayer. And I'm getting thieving and smithing. That is going to be amazing. So once I kill this Banos avatar, that will grant me all the way to 99 Slayer. And then I'm going to teleport and do summoning. And then I'm going to do thieving, smithing, and is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. And prayer. So that's it. And then once I do all that, it's still not going to be the end of the episode because I do... Wait, what? I just get demoted from my clan chat. Anyway, I'm going to have to talk about that, but honestly, Iron Chat is an amazing clan chat. If you do need an Iron Man clan chat, go check it out. And that's the chat I have been using for ages for now. So once I kill this, I'll be back, and then we can get our 99s. Okay, I missed the recording, I'm sorry about that, but I just missed the recording, but there is 99 Slayer achieved. Let's go get summoning really quickly. That shouldn't take too long at all. 48 Slayer points. I think I have enough for a Ring of Wealth now, which is really nice. So let's make this... Press enter, and that should, there we go, 99 uh, summoning, 99 summoning, there we go. Now if we go to thieving quickly, get my 99 thieving, there we go, now we go to smithing. Um, I was going to get crafting as well, but I thought that would probably just be overkill. And honestly, I don't have enough supplies for crafting right now. And I think that's it, oh prayer, Jeez, I forgot. I'm so unorganized, but anyway, I'm going to make these dart tips, there is 99 smithing. Now, we're going to get the final prayer, the final 99, sorry, and that is 99 prayer. And then after that, just for fun, we're going to open up this crystal key, and let's see what we can get. So there we go, 99 prayer. This is, this is honestly amazing for the max cape, knocking down all these 99s. Just farming's going to take a while. But anyway, open up this crystal key, and we get a berserker home. 
Anyway, how did I get 360 runite bolts? Anyway, that is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But now, I honestly do not know what to do. I'm going to keep doing Slayer because let's check. Let's teleport to the Slayer Master quickly. I'm going to check how many points I have because last time I checked, I had a fair bit. But I think I might have 464. Okay, so a couple more tasks and I can get the Ring of Wealth, which will be amazing. Nothing else I want here, so let's get a new task from Simona. 2k Qs, that should be nice and easy. So I was going to get wood cutting and crafting at the same time, but honestly I did not want to wait. I didn't want to kill so many Jads again, so I just decided to get them for the meantime. And honestly, I have so many boss points. Let's check how many boss points we have here. If we go up to bossing points, where is it? 504 boss points, and if we do trade the store, I can buy a lot of things in here. Like, I can almost buy a Visage. But I don't think I'm going to buy anything from here just yet. Honestly, it defeats the purpose of an Iron Man if I buy all my stuff from here. But yeah, let's go finish up that Slayer task and hopefully get myself a Ring of Wealth. Guys, the luck in this episode has been insane. Look at that, we've got a D2H from Cowfire Queen. It's honestly crazy. In this episode, we have gotten like three drops already. But let's finish off this KQ task. Okay, I don't know how many Slayer points we have. But let's see if we have enough for the Ring of Wealth. Come on, 480. That's like two more tasks, I think. Four Dagonal Supremes and then after that we can finally get the Ring of Wealth. Okay, four slay points away from the Ring of Wealth and we get two Nexus. That is amazing. Yes, I really badly want to do next. That is awesome. Ah, oh, couldn't have got a better task. Okay, so next was actually so much harder and way more intense than I thought. I thought it'd be pretty easy. I don't know, some guy said it was AFK, but it probably got buffed or something. I used all the rock tails in my pack yak and had to fish some more. So I fished some more rock tails and honestly, I had four rock tails left at the end of the kill, which was insane. I'm so happy I got the kill though, but I'm not going to do the second kill this episode. I'm actually going to end off this episode today because I do want to get out an episode every two days. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you did enjoy it. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, I actually got a D-Med and a casket and something else. I forget what it was, but yeah, I actually did forget to show you the drop. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.